so we made it to Liverpool. <laughs> so we needed to do a bit of a Calvin Klein return, sorted that. I'm going to try and get a backpack from Coach. And a bag from Burberry. Bag from Burberry for Laura. But yeah, it's not too busy here to be fair, it's alright. Nice day as well, it was snowing before but it's alright now. So we just picked up a coach backpack. I've been in need of like a nice luxury backpack for a while. I'm always wearing my bloody Under Armour one. And if you're on holiday or you know to go somewhere nice, it's like a nice accessory. You can put I can put my laptop if I'm going like working from a coffee shop or something. So I'll show you the coach backpack when we get to Liverpool. We're just gonna drive there now. It's a quick pit stop to Cheshire Oak, sorted that out. Imagine how good a Lambo V10 sound down here oh my god that'd be very very nice or like a, an m4 or rs5 should we see how the tt sounds like how like dynamic <laughs> so we made it to liverpool we're in the hotel room now we're staying at the Amelia inside i thought i'd do a quick room tour it's actually really nice like we booked it proper last minute we booked it last night because we was unsure about the weather like with the snow and everything like that but 93 quid one absolute bargain it's quite a narrow lens so it doesn't really show how big it is but it's pretty big We've got the bathroom sink shower and the bed nice big king size bed some nice ambient lighting loader <laughs> and then this is the best thing the natural light from the massive window got a high up floor as well so we've got a good view of liverpool look away now if you're scared of heights well nice like it's not a massive room but it's, good size. it's a good size got a nice tv a couple of nice chairs we've got a fridge as well so we're gonna go and get some snacks fridge safe full length mirror as well Buying one of the new Sulfit sample hoodies. Well, yeah, gonna walk into Liverpool now, have a look round, get a few snacks for tonight, and have a think about where we want to go and eat. We're going to Liverpool one, I'm gonna walk about. Right, so we're we coming up to it now. If there's people here now, that's mad. Is it this way, Laura? It's further down? Sure. morning guys so it is i think it's nearly half seven i'm just about to head down walk down to the iron pop-up fingers crossed there's not too many people and we're quite high up in the queue that looks like there's some good stuff on the story so it should be worth the wait but i'll take you around show you what the shop looks like and i might do a bit of a shopping vlog in liverpool as well have a look around see what else there is here because it is a nice place to shop we had a walk around last night i think it's nicer liverpool one's probably nicer than like manchester island <laughs> So last night we were having like an early night, probably went to bed at like half 10, 11, but there was these girls, I don't know if they were like behind us or something in, the, in their room, 
and honestly they were well loud, laughing, shouting, banging, screaming. Honestly we had to ring reception because they, they woke us up at like half two. So we're back in the hotel after the arm pop-up. We had a quick walk around Liverpool. The arm pop-up got some nice stuff, you know. I'll do a bit of a haul when I get home and show you everything I got. We were in the top 50. We got there at like quarter to eight. Opened at 10, so we queued for like over two and a half hours. But we were in, I think we were like, maybe like 35 or something in the queue. Me and Laura both got a goodie bag. So we got a hoodie, a cap and a card holder. Not bad to be fair, quite nice. There was no sale of anything, everything was full price. You would have thought they maybe do like 10% off, but anyway, some nice stuff, but most of the stuff you could just get online, so it wasn't like amazing, but I'll show you what we got. We're gonna head home now, go and get Cali. And yeah, it's been a pretty nice night away. Nice to do something different, bit of a change of scenery. I wanna show you what I got from the Arn pop-up. So I didn't get loads of stuff to be fair, but we did get a couple of new releases which aren't actually even on the website at the minute. And I'm going on holiday in the next couple of weeks, so I wanted to get some nice stuff for holiday. And I feel like these two things are gonna scroll class on holiday. So I actually did manage to get within the first 50 on Saturday morning. Um, and if you got within the first 50, you got a free goodie bag. Quite nice, Roman, quite a nice touch. So we in the goodie bag, we got obviously the bags. This is the bag. Very minimal, quite high quality, looks really nice. So in the goodie bag you get an Arn Active cap. It's actually a really nice cap, you know, really good quality. And the fit is mega. So that'll be good for like if you're playing golf or going on holiday or something like that. If I'm having a bad hair day. Also got card reader, card holder in black. I've not even opened this yet, but Laura's opened hers because she got one as well. So card holder in black be nice for like a night out when you don't want to carry your wallet with you and then also got a hoodie but this is a hoodie it's a signature relaxed hoodie so i think they release these at the last pop-up in london i don't know if i've seen them on store online or not but so i've actually got a bit of branding on Arn, as you know is super minimal like hardly any branding but really really nice so really good quality feels like a, a very nice material i think it's made in portugal navy with the nice little branding extra large i got in this when you got to the door you could choose like what size hoodie you want so i said extra large laura got a medium very good touch so that's the three things that are in the goodie bag and then what i picked up myself i got i did get a few other things in this but i only got two things for myself i got a couple of things for my dad because he was going to come but then he changed his mind last minute because he didn't want to queue Typical my dad, do you know what I mean? But I queued for him, so I picked up a few polo shirts, a few pairs of pants and that. Um, but I got two polo shirts, and these are the new ones that aren't even on the website yet. So these are called the Capri Knitted Polo Shirt. We got it in light blue, and then we got it in stone as well. So I'll try these on for you so you can see what the fit is like, but I got them both in an extra large, and the fit is bang on. It's absolutely lovely. I try these those on in a set, I also got in Liverpool from the shopping, did a little bit of shopping, didn't do too much, but got a pair of swimming shorts. Obviously it's coming to that time of year now. Swimming shorts is an essential part if you're on holiday. So these were 12 99 from H&M. Really nice, like blue color. Can't go wrong with that. The H&M swimming shorts for me are probably the best, like super affordable, really cheap. And they're a good fit as well. You don't dig into your, your hips, you know what I mean? Sometimes for me, I have like wide hips, so I hate hate ones that dig in. It's not the one, so I've got a size large in them. Oh yeah, as well, I haven't showed you. The coach bag that I got from Cheshire Oaks, so I thought I'd show you. So this retails at 500 quid on the coach website. In store, it's actually 350, but you get 20% off. So 70 quid off that, 280, not bad at all for a bag this quality. I did also have a bit of a gift voucher from Cheshire Oak, so it's like 85 quid off it. But yeah, this is well nice. I always have this bloody thing 
and I'm always wearing this like to the gym, to the office, and it just looks a bit like high school. Don't get me wrong, it serves its purpose, it's good for the gym, taking stuff like that, but for when I go on holiday, and for when I travel, I want to look nice with a nice backpack, do you know what I mean? So this coach backpack is expensive, but we've upped my accessories game now. It's got a laptop bit in the back as well for storage. It's got loads of storage on it. It's just really, really nice. I've not treated myself to like something a bit more expensive for a long time. I thought I'd treat myself because I do wear backpacks a lot and when you're traveling and stuff, you need a nice high quality one. So that's the coach one. I'll link it in the description if I can find it, but just go to your local coach outlet. I'm sure they'll have them. They had a few other ones as well, which I was going to get. I was going to get like um, one with the coach logo, like very minimally dotted around. I'll put a picture on the screen so you can see. It was well nice, but I decided to go for this. Go with lots more outfits, I'd say. What do you think of this hoodie? I've literally not took it off, so it's one of the new samples I've got for the heavyweight premium range, which I might be releasing. I'm not sure yet. It depends what people think because they are going to be a bit more expensive like this is going to be in the range of 60 to 70 quid just because they cost a lot more to make like they cost a lot more to make than just your average hoodie um the quality super thick really nice fabric really heavyweight it's like a 400 460 470 gsm more of a cropped fit gray i've got it in blue and black as well i showed you in another video but yeah let us know do you prefer zip up or pull over and do you think we should release these? They don't have the uh, the drawstrings here, which I prefer, to be honest. I don't really like drawstrings. They just get in the way, don't they? I've, I've not took this off. It's well nice. So this is the light blue one. The fit is just so good for me. The length is spot on. Not too long, not too short. When they've got like the cuff at the bottom, usually on me, they come up quite short. But this one is lovely. Nice fit on the arms as well. Not too short, not too long. The material is such a nice knitted fabric. And I don't usually like wear button-up polos, but I think the button-up, the contrast between the white and the colour looks very nice. Let us know what you think, guys. But I think these they said they'll be going on the website in the next few weeks, so they will be available to buy, but they were in store only. Got a bit of a sneak one there. This is a stone one. Very, very similar colour. To be honest, this one has more like, I'd say it's like green, you know, greeny brown details. The other one has more blue. But yeah, really good fit. Very nice fabric, super soft. It's a nice knitted, I don't know how you can get this knitted texture, but I'll tell you what, the weaves on it, the details, lovely. I think I might prefer the blue one, just slightly, but still, both really nice, aren't they? This is the hoodie, minimal branding. It looks nice without the gradient of colours, doesn't it? The yarn badge, quite a nice fit to be fair. I'm glad I went for extra large and not large. Definitely do prefer more relaxed fitting hoodie. Just a bit more comfortable, isn't it? A bit more room, a bit roomier. So that's everything I got from the Arn pop-up. To be fair, it was a good day out. I enjoyed it, do you know what I mean? Went to Cheshire Oaks on a Friday, stayed over, nice hotel. It's just nice to do something a little bit different, isn't it, sometimes? And the hotel was a bargain as well. Even though we did get woken up in the middle of the night, it's still really nice. Liverpool, it's a good shopping city, to be honest. There's loads of different shops, and they're all in pretty close proximity as well. So always recommend it for a good day out. And Arn, like you guys know, one of my favourite minimal menswear brands. To be honest, I wish there was a few more new releases, a few new items in there, because most of the stuff in there you could just get online. So I don't know if it was worth going, but anyway, we picked up a couple of nice polos. As well, just before we go, I just wanted to let you know that the premium t-shirts over on Sulfit are restocking very soon. So make sure you signed up to the back in stock notifications. They're restocking in black, white, and this stone colour, which is one of my favourite colour t-shirts. I just absolutely love it. The quality on them is really nice premium not too heavy the perfect spring summer t-shirt so don't forget to go and sign up to that but that is it from me today guys i will catch you in the next video i'll link everything from the video if i can find it in the description as always see you later take care